It's time to do the final review of the Asher Knife Spiro. Spiro. S-P-I-R-O. However you decide you want to pronounce it. So before we get into it any further, guys, turn down the volume because here comes some music. <laughs> here. Just wanted to throw it out there so that I, future Mike always forgets. If you haven't checked out the merch store, there's a lot of stuff in there. I got sweatshirts, I got t-shirts, I got coffee cups. There's a link in the description. If you want to support the channel, all the sales go to the merch store and providing the stuff, but then it also, I get a portion of the, of the take of it. So like I said, merch store, sweatshirts, t-shirts, coffee cups, they're all really nice. Now back to future Mike so he can tell you about a knife. Guys, behind me is Project Farm, and if you haven't seen Project Farm, it's a very, very fun review channel because he does some super in-depth reviews about like, engine oil and, and paint and uh, engine additives and things like that. So, uh, but that's not what we're here to talk about. There will be a link to his channel down below. Um, this is the Asher Knives Spiro, or Spiro, however you choose to pronounce it. Uh, this is a knife that Jared sent me, and I was kind of I was kind of iffy on it because it had a couple things that I thought were going to be a no go for me. But in carry, I was pleasantly surprised. So uh, yeah, let's get down to the counter. We'll take a look at it. We'll get some specs. We'll get some weights, and we'll just give it a good overall review. See you down. All right. So what are we looking at here? This is the Asher Knives Spiro or Spiro S P I R O by Asher Knives. Um, really nice knife. Uh, I was afraid I wasn't gonna like it. There were some elements that stuck out to me that I thought may not be a go for me, but uh, in, in carry, I've actually kind of enjoyed carrying this knife. So what are we looking at? We are looking at a 7.4 inch overall length. Uh, blade length is 3.2 inches. It's done in a drop point stone washed S35 VN blade that is done in 0 0.09 blade stock thickness. But let's go ahead and get the calipers out. Take a look at that. So let's see. They say 0 0.09 and they are pretty much right on 0 0.094. Um, there is always some variance. They have it listed on their website as approximately behind the edge thickness while we're looking at it on this. Uh, this is coming in behind the edge. I'm trying to get right behind it. Point zero two zero. So it's not super thin, but it is thin and it did cut really well. So, um, handles on this, you're looking at, uh, G10. This is a 4.2 inch handles, uh, in G10 with steel liner locks. The backspacer is also G10, but it's done in a jade or a neutral G10. It's really it gives it a it gives it a unique look. It's got um, you can see the actual screws going through and everything, so it's kind of cool. Um, this does run on caged ceramic bearings. Now I already got weight for this, but my scale is down, so I went by another reviewer and they had weighted. It comes in at three and one quarter ounces or ninety four grams, so not real super heavy. So there's the specs out of the way. Now let's take a good look at it. So this G10 is done really well. I like that. At first I thought it was my Carta. And uh, I had mentioned that I thought it was my card, and other people said they thought it was G10. Um, everything is done really well on this. There's only two small little things that I don't. The thumb studs are really large, uh, and they they can get they can occasionally get in the way if you're cutting something thick and you're down here and you're cutting straight like this, and you can get in and it can bunch up the material. It's not horrible. Um, it did cut really well. I used it to cut a lot of cardboard. We had a bunch of stuff that we still had to get rid of from the move. Uh, I cut up a bunch of cardboard with this. It cut really well. The only thing comfort wise, even this big pocket clip isn't horrible. Comfort wise on this knife, there's only one thing. Uh, the pocket clip does have this dip with that little lip, but when I get it in my hand, it's not too comfortable. The one I was going to say is it's not uncomfortable per se, but it is just kind of an unusual feel instead of this being scalloped so that you had this being level and even, where this was the scale was down and then this was flush. This has been scalloped out on both sides and it leaves that kind of high. And I wouldn't say it's uncomfortable. It just feels strange. It's just something I'm not used to. I'd probably get used to it if I carried it over a good period of time. Pocket clip is reversible left and right. And it has the little cover here. 
uh, so that you don't just have that little pocket that you would be rubbing across, which could be uncomfortable. No lanyard hole on this, which I'm perfectly fine with. I don't necessarily like lanyard holes. Um, in use, this knife was great. Uh, I carried it a good bit. It stayed in my pocket because yet another one of those knives that's fairly comfortable, they can carry it on the, the zipper forward side of my pocket and then have something further back towards the inseam, um, which is nice if you want to have a couple different knives. Say you have something that you carry all the time, but it's not something that you would, well, for me, it doesn't matter, but some people have a really nice knife that they carry and then they have a knife that they carry for like heavier duty or heavier duty tasks that they normally wouldn't do with a really expensive, really nice knife. Action on this, really, really good. It's not quite drop shut, but it's shake shut. Um, blade shape's really nice. The Now, as far as this isn't a comfort thing, I do wish, I really do wish that they hadn't brought this all the way to the plunge like that. That is the only thing as far as functionality, and that may be putting the thumb studs a little further back. Uh, it could have been done so that the thumb studs were a little further here, um, and not in the travel up material. Cause if you like I said, if you follow the edge up, even though that grind goes this way, if you're following the edge up and you're cutting straight down on something, you can get up against those. Um, but it is an attractive knife. And the fact is it's really not going to break the bank. I don't feel any blade play in this knife. It was a little bit loose. I, I screwed one of the handles down, uh, one of the, uh, pivot. I screwed the pivot down, I should say, and tightened it up a little bit, and it got rid of any little blade play that was in it. The pocket clip really does not flex as much as some of these. I'm like, I'm have to push fairly hard to flex that. Um, so when you flip it, you don't feel that. You don't feel that little bit of flex. The detent is a little soft. It's not horribly soft, but it is soft enough that if you just happen to, like, if you miss it, uh, you can actually, you know, get it to not deploy. But it's easy to slow roll that, which a lot of times on those thumb studs, it's nice to be able to throw thumb roll it. Um, I, I, I had talked about knives that just snap open and, and that that's the only way they, they just pop open. A lot of times it's nice to just be able to slow roll a knife open. Somebody's riding four wheelers up and down the street. I apologize, guys. Uh, but yeah, it, it, sometimes it's nice to just be able to slow roll a knife open like that where, where you're not necessarily wanting to fly open. Um, some people find that aggressive and it can lead to people saying, well, what do you got that out for? That's a switchblade and things like that because some people just don't know. So yeah, overall really nice knife at the price point. And I know for a fact that I forgot to mention it in the outro because I already filmed the outro. Um, this knife comes in right at $75, not expensive at all. And it's a good quality knife. Um, the packaging is not over the top. You get packaging and it's just simple packaging, but it does come, you know, so that you can uh, keep your knife. If you like to keep cases for your knives, you got a nice case to put your knife in. So guys, that's about it. That's all I really got on it. It's a nice knife that that really, I, I was pleasantly surprised after carrying it. I was afraid I wouldn't like it. So I will see you guys back behind the camera for the final thoughts. Okay guys, that's on it on this one. I was afraid it had a couple issues. I still am not a big fan of that lock bar sticking up by itself like that uh, instead of it being flush on one side. Uh, and, you know, thumb studs occasionally got away, but like I said, down at the counter, nothing major. I do like the fact that some of these deep carry pocket clips, if they are comfortable, like this one's not too bad. I can carry a knife forward in my pocket uh, closer to the zipper and I can have two knives and then it doesn't pinch. You know, if, if you sit down and, and there's pinching, it, it can get uncomfortable along, along a waistline, especially if you're an older guy like me and you're starting to get a, a little bit of a belly. Uh, so guys, that's it. Uh, if you like the videos, give them a thumbs up. If you don't like the videos, give a thumbs down. Please share the videos with everyone you can. Anybody that you think would enjoy the content. Um, if you want to support the channel monetary, there's a couple ways. I have a monthly subscription service. It's my memberships down below where you get in on exclusive giveaways, exclusive content, um, or, or at the very minimum, if you're the bait or the, the just looking tier, you get early access to videos as soon as they go up. Uh, like this weekend, I've shot four videos and prepped for Monday, me not being able to do anything or even the podcast. So um, every every one of the members is going to have access to that over the weekend. Um, but like I said, if you don't want to do, if you can't do the the membership, there is super like, if you like a specific video, you can just give a like a super like, it's like a super chat for a specific video. Um, and uh, if you want to support the channel in other ways, I have the affiliate links down below. I have my Ember Shirt Co. merchandise store. I have a code for that. There is a coupon code. It is Crazy Sharks, capital C, capital S, all one word. 
And that saves you 10% on checkout at any of the Ember Shirt Co. stores. So even if it's not my merch store, if you just go to the general uh, Ember Shirt Co. link, there's two links down there. And you can get shirts from any one of the creators or the Ember Shirt Co. shirts themselves. And that, that gets you, you know, 10% off any of those items. So um, that's it, guys. I love you all. I hope you've been having a good weekend. I actually have. My daughter and I did movie night last night. It was a lot of fun. We watched The Exorcist. It was the first time she'd ever seen it. And so, yeah, we, uh, we're just having a good weekend, but I still got a lot of filming and stuff done. So, uh, yeah, be good to each other, guys. Keep it clean in the comments. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. I love you all, and I will see you in the next video. And here come all 37, 36 or 37 of the paying members are going to scroll up past you on the text scroll.